It's Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. Welcome to Training Tuesday for Tuesday, October 25th, 2022. This week, you're going to get to see our six-year-old Morelia Bradley Telemachus do a simple shifting behavior. I say simple because he comes out of his enclosure and stations on a scale. He's reinforced. I weigh him. I go do other things. He leaves the scale and roams around the room a little bit ends up on my standing desk, which is adjacent to the scale. So I shift him back onto the scale and he gets reinforced again. And then I put him back in his enclosure while he's eating. So I get his weight, he gets to practice shifting and he gets to roam around the room a little bit. That's what you're gonna see this week. Next week, I have something very special planned for you. So tune in at the end of this video and I'll tell you about it. I want to remind you that this type of shifting behavior is a type of cooperative care, which means that the animal is trained to participate voluntarily in their own care. It's considered best practice and an industry standard in accredited zoological institutions. Cooperative care shifting improves keeper safety, ease of care, and minimizes potential for fear, anxiety, distress, and defensive behavior in the snake. When something is done voluntarily, the action has positive emotional affect versus when something is forced, which causes bad associations. The choice to participate in their own care and the ability to opt out improves welfare and enhances well-being for animals. It's not respectful and it's very rude and can cause a lot of fear, anxiety, and distress to intrude into the snake's habitat, forcibly remove them and put them where you want them. I would not appreciate it if someone did that to me. And so when possible, we wanna manage our snakes and other animals using cooperative care and letting it be their choice whether to interact with us or not.
Everybody, thank you for giving me your time again this week and for your interest in snake training and behavior. I hope that you enjoyed that and that you got something out of it. That was a relatively simple behavior. Telemachus is an advanced learner. He's experienced and he's done lots of self shifting in and out to explore and he's done lots of targeted shifting. And he also knows how to do foraging exercises. He will follow a scent trail. He will find a prey item and he is one of about three pythons that I've actually taught to take the prey item as it's laying there in a puzzle feeder or something similar, and I don't have to be involved. I don't have to move it for them. Next week, you are gonna get to see our inland carpet python, Merlin, conduct a shifting behavior similar to what you saw today, except that Merlin comes out of his enclosure. He shifts onto one of our tall stations on wheels. From there, he shifts onto a table where he has to traverse two other stations before getting to his final station, which is positioned on the scale. Then he has to wrap his body around that station to get his whole self on the scale for Wayne. He gets reinforced for that, and then he does the whole thing in reverse. So he shifts off the scale onto two other stations and then back into his enclosure. He doesn't miss a beat. He takes his time, he's cautious. He never loses patience. He never strikes at the target. He 100% does this activity phenomenally well. So I'm excited to share that with you next week. And until then, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. <music>